Hey guys, this is Eskimo Poodle, and we are back to this play Devil May Cry 3 HD on Sony PlayStation 3. Last time, we defeated Jester, the guy that showed us how to get past the door, you know, by, you know, hitting the switch instead of the door, and then we got a bunch of items that we traded in for each other, and I'm lost as to where to go on this next one, but I said screw it and looked it up because after a certain point, you just kind of give up on, you know, searching for stuff for forever. So we have to go back to where that staircase was in that one room that we fell down because apparently that's the way to go forward. So we just got to remember where that is and we're good to go. Hopefully I don't have to do that too often because, well, I'd rather not. Um, how you guys doing? I didn't mean to actually attack you guys with that, but oh well. Now, get rid of you guys just for some more orbs, because I do need the extra couple thousand for the for the upgrade here. I think the room we're looking for is up here. If not, well, we'll figure out where it's at momentarily. Yeah, I'm not very good with trying to figure out where the heck I'm trying to go in this place, because it's mildly confusing, but I think it is right here. No, dang it, I was wrong. In that case, I think I remember which door it is, so let's go do that. And I'm not sure if there's going to be another boss fight or not, because there's already a boss fight here, so we might just be close to the end of the, end of the chapter here and just have a, another shorter episode. We'll see. I want to get up my orbs, because those are very helpful. Thank you for the little bit of health. I do appreciate that. Let's see. Anybody else down here? No. Now, I gotta remember where that damn door was. I know it's around here somewhere. I think it is actually around here. I mean, we were at it. We were at an episode ago. At it an episode ago, but who knows how long ago that was. About five minutes, actually. Yeah, about five minutes. It wasn't that long. So, hopefully I don't get too lost here. I know the door's around here somewhere, so where the fuck is it? Was it you? I think it was you. Yeah, you. Okay, so now that we have the heaven and hell thing, we just walk where the stairs were, and it lets us go back up the stairs. So, apparently we couldn't have made it up here. Anyways. I am the combat adjudicator. Only a technique icy cold at the core can move me. Fair enough. Uh, what is this? Soul of Steel. There you go. I mean, it makes sense that this has a blue flame, so they want the the ice weapon. You know, the which is usually blue. Uh, Oh, you want me to actually do combos on you? Um, the only problem is I don't really have that much in the way of combos here. So... There you go. And a blue orb fragment. Nice. That should be, I think, our third one, right? Oh, no, that's our fourth one. Cool. We get a nice little health upgrade, I do believe. I'm hoping it actually, you know, shows that. Is there anything behind you? No. I thought that was the way forward, but apparently this with the Soul of Steel is the way forward, so good for us. Surge of Fortunus. What else we got in here? We got the stairs going back up, and I see something red over here to attack, so let's go ahead and get ready for that. What are you on the wall? Secret Mission 2, Untouchable. Defeat all enemies while taking no damage. This might be a bit of a problem here, since I'm not very great at the whole no damage thing, especially not with these idiots. Yeah, these guys are a real pain in the ass to avoid, just for the fact that they are, well, a pain in the ass to avoid. So let's just... Fail. Okay. If I had actually targeted the one that I was trying to target, you know, the one in the back that I had already damaged, we might have done a little better, so let's try again. I don't know if we actually took any damage out of that. 
Yeah, it looks like we did. Okay. Okay. I'm just gonna say screw it because apparently I can't not take damage. So yeah. There you go. Okay, I'm trying to do the uh, the circle attack there, dude. Not not talk to you. There you go. Apparently, having the special attack map to the circle doesn't work so well for actually trying to use it against those combat thingies. Uh, hello. How you guys doing? Son of a bitch. Can I call you guys back down here? You guys need to fuck off and not put me, not be on a platform that I need to go up on. Thanks. And I have to reactivate this entire thing. You better not... You better not make any more of these little bastards appear, because that would just be a dick move. It's not... A, I guess we could just spam the circle button. But yeah, it's not a great place to fight these guys here on this tiny little platform that I can't really... Okay, we can see what we're doing. That's good, actually. Uh, screw off, dude. I don't care about you. Go away. Okay, thanks for the, the health. That's nice, at least. Oh, you guys are just gonna spam these fuckers, aren't you? You bastards. Come on, more help. No. Go oh, away. And I can't really use Stinger too much, because if I do, that'll probably just knock me off the edge. There you go. Nothing over there, I don't think. Is there one of the uh, save stages around here? That'd be very helpful, but I'm not seeing it. Uh, nothing on the roof. Hello. You guys might have some orbs in you of the green variety. Oh, there's a statue right there. Awesome. Uh, nothing right there. Let's go ahead and save up real fast since we haven't saved since the last episode. And actually, I don't know if we can save. I will buy one more vital star despite the fact that it's expensive. But, well, just in case we need it. Um, I think we should be good, actually. Can't I save at you? Oh, we can just save here, I think. Oh, we can just save anywhere. I think, though, if we, re if we like, reset the game and came back in, it might make us redo the mission from the beginning. So let's try to avoid that for the most part. Firestorm Chamber. That sounds like a boss chamber. Look, brother. It's been ages, but we finally have company. I see that. We must entertain our guest. You're right. We have to be gracious, hosts. What should we do? How do I know? We need to come up with something. <sighs> Brother, our guest is Sai. Sai? What is Sai? Well, a Sai is when... Enough already! How long are you two gonna keep carrying on like this? In case you didn't get the hint, I'll spell it out. Your guest wants to go through. Got it? Our job here is to go on this door. That's right, we can't let you pass. Okay, I thought these guys were going to be way bigger than they actually were, but no. They're reasonably, uh, small, which is great. And they're pretty powerful, too, so let's, uh, try not to... Try not to get too dead here. Okay, so one of them seems to be blocking while the other one seems to attack. And one of them seems to be missing a head, so good for them. Ah, and we're not doing very much damage to these guys, are we? Uh, dang it, not what I was trying to do. Get out of the map. Trying to see if we can do anything with the chucks here. But it doesn't look like it. Uh, 
Okay, so we can try to we can try to hope that when they dodge at us, we're capable of you know jumping out of the way fast enough. But this might be one of those fights that I take a while on because it seems like it might be reasonably tough because it's a double boss fight, and I'm not gonna waste my orb here because that's probably not a good idea. Right, you're guarding. You guys are. Very big on the whole guarding thing, aren't you? And there we go. You got me. And I did like no damage to you guys. You guys do not share a health bar. So this might be a pain in the ass. I'm kind of tempted to buy more moves just to have him against this guy, but uh, not sure if that's the best call here. Eighteen thousand. We can do more singer, but it's not really terribly helpful there. Let's see. Anything on the guns? No. And by the guns, I mean, go away. Okay. Because so apparently R two and L two just cycle through each of those pages right there, which is really nice. Let's see. We could do this right here. Revolver level two, uh, which is the one that we already have, I think, right? Yeah, I don't know if that would be actually helpful or not. Let's see, you... Well, let's see how much the uh, nunchucks actually do against them with that move anyways, without having it powered up, because that is 15,000, which is a pretty decent amount, and I'm not sure if I want to spend that on that instead of getting the air hike. So, we'll see. Ah, come here, you. Okay, that did a whole lot of not a lot, I think. But then again, they might have been guarding through it, so I'm not sure. Okay, you guys are very good at guarding, that's for sure. Actually, that's actually doing a decent amount of damage. Not a not a great amount, but it's doing decent enough, it looks like. The problem is, they guard pretty much as soon as you start attacking them, so you can't really... Yeah, you can't really rely on trying to actually... Doing the damage to him, it seems like. I don't know. It seems. Do I got it? Okay. If I get behind him, okay. If I get behind him, I can start doing more damage. Okay, so that's the secret here. You got to get behind these guys, and then you can start slashing at him. Okay. So let's go ahead and get out of there. There you go. I got you in the back a little bit. Uh, see, I wonder if this is like Ornstein and Smile, where when one of them dies, they get the ex the others moves, or if they get extra, if they get extra health or something. Okay, you're not blocking, which is great. Okay, so we're doing okay here. We got one of them halfway down, which is great. I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna try to just focus fire one and see if this works out pretty well. So we're going for brownie here, see if that works out for us here. Okay, whatever your little glowy sword is, I'd rather not deal with that, actually. So, let's just not here. Oh, you're about to die. I'm about to die. We're all about to die. Son of a bitch. Okay, so now that I know what to do, I'm going to go ahead and try one more time here. I didn't want to use my orb because I, I think we were... Well, I was doing okay, but not good enough that I think that I was actually going to win. And I don't want to waste my orb there, so let's just try not to waste it if we can. Alright, so let's go ahead and focus on one of these idiots. Try not to get hit by that charge attack. Camera, I wish this camera was doing a bit better job let me, letting me actually attack these guys, but so far it's not. Okay, I almost had him right there, but no, he got... There you go, we can do a little bit of damage right here. Let's go. Oh, we're behind you again, just a little bit more damage. Okay, we've almost got this guy down, and we've also managed to keep most of our health here, so we're doing okay. Okay, I think you're about to die here. 
Yeah, I think you're very close to being dead, so that's great. Uh, yeah, keep up on the, uh, ground, dude. Okay, you're dead. Uh, Greeny, let's go. Let's meet you. See if this guy actually gets his health back or anything stupid like that. Can I make sure you don't, like, grab his sword or something? Because that... would really suck. Okay, yeah. And that was a cheap move right there. You know, making sure you can do damage as you come out of your uh, cutscene there. Thanks, guy. I appreciate that. Uh, he's doing a lot of damage here. This might be one of those fights where you want to kind of focus him down at the same time, it seems like. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, that's actually doing a lot of damage there. He didn't recover his health, which is great, but he is doing lots of damage here. Yeah, the problem is that the uh, exploding tornado he's got, uh, which does a fair amount of stuff here. Okay, can I... Let's go ahead and heal. I don't want to, but I kind of have to. Just to hope that he doesn't get me here. Son of a bitch. Yeah, he does He does damage to me way faster than I do damage to him, unfortunately. And he's not even guarding, he's just uh, being a pain. Okay, he's about to do that tornado thing, I think. Or something stupid like that. Let's uh, try not to get hit by it. Come on. Ah, damn it. Yeah, we definitely have to kill them both around the same time. Or at least make sure the one that's left over has minimal amounts of health left over. Because otherwise, this guy is a pain in the ass at the moment. And I'm assuming that the other dude gets all the same health bonuses, or not the health bonuses, all the move bonuses and whatnot, so. Damn it. And I lost my fucking item, didn't I? God damn it. I do need that, though, so I'm gonna go ahead and buy another one. I'd rather not, but, damn it, I need it. Actually, no, we'll, we'll try one time without it. See if we can't get into the same pattern of getting them both guarding and such, and getting them really low on health, and then killing them that way. Ah, right, let's go ahead and not let this guy freaking charge everywhere. Come on, dude. Okay, we can do damage to the brown guy. I, I thought we did. No. Oh, we, we had we had green guy stunned, not not brown guy. Okay. Yeah, I gotta remember, brown guy has the red sword, or I guess the brown sword, but still. Okay, you're taking damage here. Uh, let's hope that green does not actually do a lot of damage here. That's great. Uh, let's go ahead and... A little more damage to Brown. I do not want to kill him. Son of a bitch. That hurt. Yeah, I don't want to kill him yet. I want to actually just do damage here. Okay, you're almost dead, but you're not completely dead. So that's great. Uh, green, it's me and you. Let's go. I think I'm playing a little worse now than what I was, unfortunately. So, that's not great, but... Yeah, I'm, I'm probably not going to win this particular round, just because I'm not doing great. Either that, I've, I've just been getting unlucky with their fucking hits there. God damn it. Like, that, that round we had before this, that was great, because... One of them pretty much left me alone. Um, one more time without it. One of them pretty much left me alone while I wailed on the other guy, and that was fantastic. And... This is one of those games where, for some reason, you have to... Never mind. I thought you had to, like, uh, skip the cutscene, like, two or three times for some fucking reason, which would have been irritating, but... They always start off that fight with the... Or the fight with that stupid double charge shit, and I always fall for it, and I need to not. Otherwise, it really hurts my health there. 
You know, for guys with no heads, you're really good at seeing where the fuck I'm attacking from so you can block it all. I mean, if you don't... I was gonna say if you were blind, like the... Like the, uh... Old hero from Demon Souls, I can understand you guys hearing where I'm coming from. That makes sense, but... No, you guys can't hear me or see me. You guys are just, you know, magically fucking... Great. Come on, let me attack your back, come on. Yeah, you gotta attack their front, and then you, then you can get behind them, but sometimes they don't actually let you get behind them, which is not great. Come on, do your charge crap. There you go. Okay, you're not falling to your knees, which would be perfect. I mean, you're still taking a lot of damage here, brown guy, but you're not actually making my life any easier here, that's for sure. Uh, let's see, can I? Will you let me get fucking behind you? Like, he's actually, he's turning around when I'm in mid-air, so I can't actually attack him. What the fuck is that bullshit? And I don't want to spend the money on the, uh... On the green orb again, because I... If we get lucky with the, the timing, we can actually kill him without taking too much damage, but... Well, it's not working out great here. Okay, skip that shit, come on. I got all day for this crap. I fought the guys, like, four times, and I don't ever want to see the cutscenes, so let's keep it that way. Okay. There, I did not take the damage from you that. Ta you fucking cheap piece of shit. You attack me off screen. I hate when games do that. I really fucking do. It's, it's bullshit in one of the highest forms. Like, I knew he was there, but I thought he was gonna, you know, not actually attack me off screen, you know, like a gentleman, but I guess not. And these guys are. Well, they seem kinda, you know. Okay, there we go. They seem kind of fair, but apparently not. There you go. Oh, I had him for a minute there when he was attacking me. There you go. Yeah, wait for him to attack me, and then I can actually get some good damage, it seems like. Come on, I, I know I can stun your ass, because I've done it before. Here, attack me. There you go. Why? Okay, never mind. I'm gonna say. I'm not gonna say. It. I was gonna say something, but yeah, it's not really that big of a deal. So I'm not gonna bother with it. <sighs> okay, I'm really not a big fan of this camera angle for this fight because it is constantly fucking me over here. I'm not a big fan of it. Er, here, attack me, dude. Come on, you get over here. One of you get. One of you get over here. I'm trying to fucking see where the fuck you guys are. You're not actually fucking letting me stun you, which is kind of not great, because I really need to stun you here. Camera! I'm fighting the camera more than I'm fighting the fucking bosses here. And for some reason, Dante seems to take his sweet-ass time getting up in this game. I'm not sure what, what's up with that, but he really just takes his time getting up off the fucking floor for some reason. I'm not sure why. Are you gonna do the thing where you, the thing that I know you're supposed to do, where you fucking, you know, get stunned for a second while so I can actually attack you? Because you guys haven't done that for like two or three fights in a row, and it's starting to piss me off. Yeah. 
I'm not sure who thought this fight was a good idea where it's just constantly blocking the entire fight and or them constantly blocking the entire fight and otherwise you're just doing chip damage the entire time because it's not really my idea of a good time that's for sure okay you are taking a lot of damage which is great but i am down to last hit here so okay you are almost dead almost dead almost dead almost dead almost dead okay i don't want to kill you uh that's fine i don't want to kill you fuck it god damn it they waited until the last fucking sliver of health that I had left before they actually said, Hey, we're gonna let you fucking attack us, you pieces of fucking shit. God damn it. I'm buying a fucking health orb, I don't really care. Give me a health orb, you cheap ass piece you cheap piece of fucking shit. This is this is the crappiest menu in the series, I think. Like even two had a better menu than this. You can't you can't check your moves except for what you what you can buy. Like you can't check the moves you already have. Uh, it's not in a conducive order as far as I'm concerned. It's like not a good order for you know finding where stuff is. I don't know. It's just not a good menu. I mean, I don't know why they don't just keep, like, the same menu or the same close enough menu from Devil May Cry 1, which was, sure, not perfect, but it's a whole lot better than the minimalistic crap they went through here. Get out of the corner, you fuck. Okay, there you go. Here, do some damage. Don't worry about the green dude, just attack the fucking brown guy. Okay, I want one of you guys to spread the fuck out so I can actually attack one of you guys, because that'd be great. Here, I'm going to attack the green guy here, because the brown guy is being stupid. Yeah, Dante just seems to take a sweet time getting up for some fucking reason, I'm not sure why. He just has to do a backflip to get up instead of, you know, just getting up. And that backflip takes a couple of seconds for him to actually get up off the fucking floor. Which is very weird, but hey, whatever. I guess you gotta be more stylish than effective, I guess. Okay, you're not dead, that's great. Okay, you, I need to attack you. Do not kill the green guy at all. The green guy can wait to die. Actually, they can both wait to die. Uh, I'm not using my orbs yet because we're not there yet. Okay, get out of the way of that. The problem is they're very close to each other. I'm not sure if I'm actually going to... enter the second phase by accident or something, which I'd rather not do. Get up. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to survive this hit. That's the problem. Yeah, I didn't survive that. Okay, we're going to try one more time, and if I, if I can't beat him this time, well, we're going to try again next time. Because after this, I think I'm... After this, I think I'm gonna need a break. <clears throat> so far, the boss fights in this game have been more frustrating than fun. That's for sure. Then again, I think the a lot of some of the boss fights in one were very frustrating too, just because they were weird. This is just bullshit with the fucking camera. And people love this game. They say it's they say it's one of the best in the series. But so far, I'm not terribly impressed. 
Like, it's certainly a lot better than two, I'll give it that much for to start off with, but I don't know, it's just the first one just feels a lot more polished. Get up, you fucking slow piece of shit. Where the fuck? Okay, I guess I guess the blue guy does water attacks and the uh, brown guy does fire attacks. Fair enough. And luckily, they're nice enough to actually let me attack them when they are when the other one is down. Sometimes. Not sure why they decided uh, two boss fights in this was a great idea, but whatever. I'll take it. It's not that bad, actually. Okay, so you're the one that... So I thought you might have just got that ability when you got the, the sword, but no, you actually just have it no matter what. Come on. Take more damage, more damage, more damage, more damage, more damage. Okay, let's uh, not die there. Okay, let's go after Brown for a little bit here. If you guys want to be in a part of the screen where I can fucking see you, that'd be great, because at the moment I can't really fucking see where we're fighting at, guys, and it's not really very fair. This is a really crappy boss arena. It's too small. Like, the enemies themselves aren't that big, despite the fact that I thought they were, like, gonna be big huge statues or something at the start of the fight, but, yeah, this is a very narrow fight for having to deal with two enemies that like to run off the screen and charge at you like that, yeah. Okay, there we go. You're stunned. That's great. More damage, more damage. Come on. We almost got you. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and pop our health potion here. Whatever. Star, whatever. I don't really care. It's just something to use for health. Okay, and try to make sure that green has even less health than he has now. Okay, I need to stop pressing circle for jump. I'm not sure why I'm doing that, and it's just kind of screwing me over here. So I've almost got these guys. If I can just go ahead and get more damage on green, that'd be great. Yeah, I don't want to. I don't want to kill brown. I want to kill green because. He might have just enough health to be irritating when he fucking revives, or when the other guy dies. And you just fucking took off all the health that I got back from my star right there. All of it. Because I can't fucking get past your stupid ass guard for some reason, I'm not sure why. Like, I'm, I'm waiting to try to, like, attack. Okay, there we go. He's, he's just about dead, he's just about dead. Come on, die. Come on, you're just about dead. There you go. I think I got him. Finally. That was stupid. Wait! Yes, wait! We have been waiting for a long time. Yes, a very long time. For someone stronger than us. Someone who can control us. My name is Agni. And my name is Rudra. You shall take us with you. We can be a great help to you. Okay, but on one condition. What is it? Name it! No, talking. Fair enough, as you wish. No, 
talking. Good. Agni and Rudra, blades with serrated edges that hurl forth, hurl forth fire and tornado-like gusts. For some reason I thought the uh, other one was water, not wind, but okay. At least we get a cool weapon for that fight, despite the fact that it was a real pain in the ass. You can only equip up the two different weapons for each weapon type. You can change equipment at the beginning of each mission as well as at any divinity statue. So two different weapons for each type. So we can still equip... Uh... Oh, we got a style level. Nice. Hold down R1, press circle while holding forward on the left stick. Seems like that might just be a better... Oh, it's uh... It's like a boomerang sword. Okay. Except it seems to... Uh, seems to go really far. And I'm not sure... Oh, and then we're forced to use our... Yeah, then we're forced to use our... Uh, then we're forced to use our fist, though, which is not great. Uh, let me see something here. Let's go ahead and put on the... Agni and Rudra real fast. Because uh, I'm not going to bother with the... Can I equip what I want to equip, dude? Hello? Can I not equip it right now? I guess we can't equip it right now, because it's not letting me. Unless, um... Okay, fuck it. Never mind. I was going to say, can we use that uh, R1 and circle with... Rebellion, and then use these two swords with... Oh, you have to change your equipment outside of missions or out of the statue... That's a weird thing, but anyways. Yeah, I was going to see if you could use the R1 to circle with Rebellion, and then switch over to Agni and Rudra, see if that would work out pretty well, but, eh, whatever. Can I get out of here now? I'm sick of this boss fight already. That took us fucking forever. We got good orbs. Yeah, we got a C. I'll take it. We still get some bonus orbs. Oh, and a boss bonus. Nice. Uh, okay, so we have finished up with mission 5. Finally, that was a long-ass mission. And next episode, we'll head to mission 6 and see if we do better at that. See if we do better at this mission than we did at the last mission. Uh, can I save here, or is it gonna let me? It's not gonna let me. Oh well. But anyways, we have finished up with that. Uh, that chick does a pretty cool fighting style with the whole adding to the uh, number on the ground thing with her explosives. And we'll start in mission six right now actually real fast just skip the cutscene that's gonna ha okay never mind yeah just so i can save and next episode we'll actually go into mission six and see if we can actually do better so guys thanks for watching and i'll see you guys next time have a good night